So by way of introductions, uh, I'm Roman Nerik. I'm on our developer relations team. Actually, I'm a designer on our developer relations team. And uh, here in developer relations, we're really starting to think about how we can start really helping designers more than just developers. Hey, guys. I'm Jonathan. You guys saw me yesterday. Uh, I am actually a designer full time at Google. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and at, at the company, um, I work on you know, designing our platforms and how we can unify that vision. Um, and recently, I've been focusing a lot more on projects like this, where we're engaged on how designers connect with other designers. And hi, I'm Bryn. I met you guys all yesterday. I'm a designer in Android and an organizer of XXUX. Um, so we're just going to do a really, really brief recap. We don't have any major inspiration, keynote, presentation <laughs> things for you. Um, but we just thought it'd be nice to kind of talk about all the things that we've kind of done and share a few of the illustrations that we were tweeting yesterday. I wanted to talk briefly about XXUX. We sort of mentioned it offhand a few times. It's an event that I co-founded about a year ago um, to support women in the UX and design community. Uh, we run this event monthly in the Bay Area and now also monthly in New York and Paris. And the point of the event is to get women in the UX community together, to get to know each other, to build community, and to provide like a mentorship platform for each other. I've just loved participating and being a part of this community in general and really wanted to have an event at Form. This was actually our only partner event with the Form conference this year. Um, so many of the women here in the audience, you probably got an email from me. Many of you attended on Monday night at General Assembly. We had great turnout. We had great conversation. It was really awesome. Thank you all for that. And next week, next Tuesday, we're actually having a birthday party for XXUX down at Google headquarters. Um, it's uh, already sold out, but I want to extend an invite to all of the women from the forum conference here. So if you're free on ne next Tuesday and would like to attend, email us at formdesign at google.com, and we'll get you all an invite. It would be great to see you there. Cool. So moving on to uh, our first kind of panel, we had a fireside chat uh, where Josh and Matthias kind of sparred a little bit uh, both in the role as designer and design critic. And then Rachel Bean organized and moderated the panel on visual storytelling, where she discussed the importance of design and technology in creating meaningful content and finding new ways to tell stories. Uh, Richard Tay shared a little bit of the personalities behind all of these projects that he's been doing uh, over at the Google Creative Lab um, and shared some of the the shiniest hits that they've had, uh, like Androidify, uh, Les Paul's Google Doodle, and the Chrome Cube Lab. And then our very own Jonathan Lee. Hey. He led a conversation on design education and how uh, the role of education will help shape this next generation of designers in our field. And guess what? Our own Bryn Evans uh, shared uh, a panel on hiring diversity and building teams and growing teams over time. Noah Levin then brought up on stage a bunch of the creators of several really cool prototyping tools that many of us use and discussed the value of prototyping for designers who want to move beyond just static mocks. And then we had a series of workshops last night, which I hope you guys got to attend. Uh, Alex, Brett, and Bob shared their approach and process for designing for wearables. And in the FutureCraft workshop, Mitch shared a couple of 3D printing tools, and he talked about how he incorporates a lot of this into his work in Google X. Nadia and Mac asked you guys, what if reading science fiction was actually useful, and had you guys do a design sprint uh, that include kind of ideation and thinking through uh, a, f a future vision project? I want to really quickly point out something. If you guys have been on Instagram at all, like tracking the hash form SF14 tag, there are a ton of photos from the workshops. Uh, there's some amazing stuff. And I think, I don't know if you guys can all still go and take a look at some of that, but if you do get a chance, uh, yeah, maybe back. stop by the second room. Yeah. Some really cool stuff in there, also everywhere else. But yeah. And then this morning, Jenny Arden gave a great talk on the challenges in designing for something that doesn't yet exist, and also in using your emotions and trusting your emotions when you're shooting for the stars, basically. 
And the industrial design panel was really interesting for me personally as a UX guy. Uh, Isabel led the group uh, to talk about issues like sustainability and impermanence, uh, working in-house versus being in a consulting service, and what software designers can learn from industrial designers and vice versa. And then closing out the session today, Molly Stevens led a really great panel just now on startup design. And as you just heard, <laughs> talked a bit about the importance of building a des strong design culture from the beginning and harnessing speed and agility and things like that. Just, I just want to point out, you know, this is actually really funny. This panel just ended. It just ended. Yeah, I just want to thank Shout the out. illustrators. Uh, where are they? Are they here somewhere? Uh, Zach and Jefferson uh, for doing literally just in time illustration. They're awesome. Anyway, awesome. Super awesome. Stuff. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about why we did Form, why uh, you know, we sat down as a bunch of designers at Google and decided to you know, hold a conference for the design community. Um, you know, we do a lot of design work at Google, spanning you know, software, obviously, primarily, uh, hardware, uh, print. We do everything. We do, we do design of all forms. Um, and we really want to start sharing our learnings more. You know, we, we encounter design obstacles and challenges and make really difficult design decisions every day. Um, and we really wanted to start sharing that more. Um, and our hope is that you know, as we share more and as you guys share and discuss and converse about this type of thing uh, more, that we actually uh, you know, improve our industry, move our industry forward in the direction we really want to take it. Um, and so form is really just the beginning for us to foster these types of conversations, really hoping to do more of this type of thing in the future. Um, we're really, I guess, trying to be proactive design community citizens. We really kind of want to be participants in this space. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, like as he said, you know, this is just the beginning for us. We really want to be staying in touch with you guys later today and going forward. Um, we're already posting all of our photos and videos on Twitter and Google Plus, where you can find us at Google Design. Um, and we hope you join us there and just keep the conversation going. Um, and finally, I wanted to note that uh, you know, designers from within the company are really what enabled this, this, this event to happen. Um, we really are hoping that these new channels that we're kind of kickstarting really act as a catalyst um, for both our internal teams inside the company to actually start sharing more innovation, more insights, more of how we work with you guys and really connecting designer to designer. So uh, one of the things really wanted from you guys, and I guess we've hammered this home many, many times already, uh, uh, is that we really need your feedback. You know, like I mentioned, we. Um, this is our, our first event, uh, and you know, we want to do more like this. And so we really want to know from you guys what we did well, what we could improve. Uh, we know that there's like, you know, some audio issues that we, we did sort out over time, I think. Um, but you know, we definitely want to hear from you, uh, you know, what we could do to kind of make an even better experience for you. Um, as you all know, there's feedback surveys. I think I see a bunch of feedback surveys uh, distributed. If you need a pen, I think we have a bunch of pens in the main hall. Um, and make sure to hand that feedback survey to somebody um, at the registration slash kind of exit entrance area on your way out. Um, and also make sure to you know, tell us what you think on Twitter and Google Plus and other channels uh, as, under hash form SF14. And uh, thank you for doing them. I, I personally hate filling out forms, but it's really, really going to help us figure out what to do next. Um, this is also an iterative process, and uh, I think that you know, not every single form will be read and will be tallied. So we're really looking forward to what you guys have to say. So we were, uh, John was talking about some surprises. Um, we're going to give all of you a Nexus 9 um, on your way out. And you know, the, the reason we wanted to give you the Nexus 9 is it actually embodies a lot of the hardware and software design work that, that we've been doing here at Google. Um, and it's, you know, it actually evokes, I guess, or uses material design. The software uses material design. Um, and we view material design as actually an evolving system. It's, it's not something that is set in stone. We really kind of see it as something that, is, you know, that will evolve over time. Um, and that's, again, another thing that we want your feedback on. We want to know where, you know where there are holes and gaps and things so that we can patch those up. Um, and what better way to do that than to actually experience material design for yourself on, on a device? Um, and we're actually, one of the things I should note, we actually uh, did a couple of blog posts about this, but we've been constantly improving our material design spec uh, with additional things and, and new, uh, new sections. Um, and so we're, we're very, very, very keen on hearing your feedback um, and trying to improve things 
like that. Also, uh, in the giveaway, you also uh, find a little tote bag that has a few of the other physical bits that uh, we've designed this year for Google I.O., um, as well as a, a nice little cube that ties nicely back to what Mitch probably shared with some of you in the FutureCraft prototyping session. Um, you'll pick them up the same place uh, where you picked up your badge yesterday, so over at registration. Before you pick up your stuff, though, we are going to be having lunch, just like yesterday. You can pick up a grab bag and take it with you if you need to go, or you can stay and enjoy your lunch with uh, us in the cafe, or you can sit outside along the piers, wherever you would like. Uh, and finally, I wanted to thank everyone that was actually involved in the physical production of this event. Uh, this event was many months in the making, and uh, everything from emails to lighting to space design to catering. Um, so here's a shout out to some of the partners here. Can we give them a round of applause, please? And that's it. It's a wrap. We just want to thank you guys one more time. You have been fantastic, and we've enjoyed meeting all of you so very much. Please stay in touch. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you.